Good morning, Greater Memphis B&I. Good morning. My name is Drew Raymond. I own Dark Pest Control. I gave out some little um, sticky traps. Everybody want to get some out right quick? Let me borrow one right here. These are actually zone monitors. What you do is you tear them in three pieces, okay? The inside of it is actually just glue. There's only glue on there. No attracting anything like that. You try fold it, you put it around your house. Call me when you find something that's out of the ordinary. I see it all the time. <laughs> all the time. I see it all the time. Today I want to talk to you guys um, about my business a little bit. I've been in business um, 13, almost 14 years. I've been in pest control for 25 years. I started working with my father-in-law. I was 20 years old. I was a welder before that. I, uh, I like to get dirty, I like to build stuff, I like to do the things that most people can't do. Um, I paint, I weld, I build cars, pretty well rounded, you know. A lot of times I'll leave out of here if we have a truck broke down or whatever. I am the catch-all guy. I want to talk to you guys today about bed bugs. Bed bugs are a new bug to the United States. These bugs have been on the world forever. Uh, we have more and more travel that's become an issue in our country. And what these people are doing is they bring different insects, different, different things into our environment that our environment's not used to, one of them being a bed bug. Um, quite often, the first thing I recommend is if you go on a travel trip and you're going to stay at a hotel, you're going to stay at, you know, even high end all the way to the bottom, take that comforter, the first thing you do, don't set your luggage on it, don't set your laptop on it, don't set anything of your personal belongings on that. Take that covering and go throw it in the far corner and don't touch it again. On average, the, the hotels in, our, in the United States are only required to, come to clean those three times a year. Three. Three. And if those rooms are rented 365 days a year, they're pretty nasty. You know, pretty nasty. Don't, don't put your stuff on those. You can also, these are the states that we have in the union that actually have been confirmed with bed bugs, as well as a couple in Canada as well. Bed bugs feed on your blood. Basically, you lay down on this bed and they come and they, they actually bite you. Thank you, Bruce. We, uh, these bed bugs are, they're just bad little dudes. They're just bad little dudes. What they do is they actually excrete your blood as a waste. And so it leaves little red or little black dots around all those edges. So whenever you pull off that comforter, the, first, the second thing you should do is look and see if you see any little brown dots, any little reddish colored dots around the seams, around the folds, around anywhere that that bed is put together, that's where they're gonna be. They're gonna hide in all those little cracks, staples, anything like that. If you see that, leave that room, leave that room. I'm not saying you have to leave that hotel, I'm not saying leave that establishment, but leave that room and let them know. They may not know, they may know, who knows, you know. Bed bugs are becoming a huge issue in our, in our country. Um, three to five years ago, nobody even knew about them. In the last several years, um, from January, we, we've seen much, much larger numbers of bed bugs. On the average, two years ago, I did one to two jobs a month. Now we do three to five, sometimes in a week, depending on the season. They tend to be seasonal, you know. And like I said, these are beautiful homes in Germantown that have just gotten off a cruise ship and they brought all these things back. I mean, you're not immune to it. It could happen. If you are very diligent and you stay on top of it, you can deal with bed bugs in two or three treatments. You know, on an average, it's like $175 a room and it takes me anywhere between an hour to three hours to do a room. You know, I mean, it takes a lot of time. I have to take the room completely apart. I take your furniture apart, I take your bedding apart. I would love for you to make sure that you remove all those personal things that you don't want me to see. <laughs> because I see them. Please, anything in doubt, pull it out, you know. 
I mean, it's the world we live in. If, if it's hidden for the, if it's hidden, it's there for a reason. Please remove it. Don't, don't let the bug man see stuff like that. It just, I'm going to take pictures of it and make fun of you. Yeah. <laughs> Bed bugs can even be in our bus, bus terminals. They can be in any, any kind of fabric that you're going to set in. If you ride a bus somewhere, oh Lord, heaven forbid that you have to. If you need a ride, let me know. I'll come get you. Don't take the bus, okay? If you need a ride, let me know. I'll send somebody. But like I said, even bus terminals, uh, hotels, anywhere that they have a fabric seat, anything cushion, is a potential area for bed bugs as well. Those are a couple of the pictures of it. They're very hard to see. They're about the size of a pin top, an actual size. A, a, an insect that's been, that has fed on something, whether it's a person, a rat, whatever it may be, um, they're engorged, they're the easiest to see. But besides that, they're tiny. I mean, they're really, really hard to see, guys. Basically, you can do diligence and make sure that whenever you go into those hotels, you don't want to take back anything that, that's there, you know? I mean, we, I mean, our world is so, um, I don't want to say invasive, but there's so many things going around. Just be diligent. You know, when you, when you go in those hotels, even loved ones and, you know, when those kids come home from, ho from, from college and all the other stuff and they bring those big garbage bags home, leave them in the garage. Make them, make them check them before they bring them in, you know. I mean, they could have Lord knows what in there. You know, American roaches, bed bugs. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Daniel? No, I'm giving time. Yeah. Uh, two minutes? Yeah. Awesome. I thought you were peace, brother. I love you too. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> we have any questions? Ms. Lynn? What do you do with uh, brown recluse spiders? Um, well, brown recluse spiders, it depends on where they're at. The number one way to deal with brown recluse is with a dust. We use a dust in the attics. Um, what most people don't know is they move brown recluse from one house to the next. You bought a new house and they got you in and you know, they got you new, new, all the new stuff and you take 15 of those boxes that you've had sealed up there that have all the baby stuff and the pictures of you know, all your ugly kids and all that other stuff that you brought with you and you know, all the artwork that they did when they were in class and you get the little bowl and all that. Check the boxes before you move them. Brown recluse are gonna be in those boxes. You know. You want to clean up any of those areas that may have clutter. Brown recluse are typically moved into a house and or moved with you. Once you have brown recluse in the house, it's very hard to get rid of them. I mean, it's almost impossible to, basically you manage them. You don't get rid of them once you have brown recluse. Yes, sir, Mr. Mark? If a truck broke down, how many trucks do you have? How many employees? Uh, we average three to five trucks depending on the time of year. Um, for me, the biggest thing is turnover of employees. I feel like all I do is train. I, I'm, you know, we have classes that we send people to, but there are a lot of things that you don't see because our work is so seasonal. You may not see it for a year or two, you know, and so it's hard. I train every employee at least three to six months. They ride with me until I just can't stand it anymore, and then I turn them loose, you know. But on average, it's three to six months and three to five trucks. Yes, sir, Ms. Dark. Back to her yes. Once I find her always dead, what is her lifespan? It's hard to say. Um, on an average brown recluse issue, they may last six months to a year on average, you know. Uh, when you find like a big nest of them somewhere? No, they're always, they're usually separate. I've, I've never seen a pile of brown recluse dead or anything like that. You always see the ones and twos, they're always reclusive, so, and they're not very friendly, you know. They, they, they do their own thing. Yes, Tim. Uh, it's kind of a two part, real quick. One, you said that they come, they're kind of seasonal. What season are we talking about, Christmas or Easter? And also, could you like go to a hotel room and like just, you know, pull the pin on a roach grenade and throw it in their head if you were doing it? Christian bugs only? <laughs> Typically, yeah. the bed bug problems become more active in the hotter it gets. Uh, they start in, in late April, early May. 
and they've gone so far to about September. I mean, that's in the hotter the weather, the worse the, the, the bread bugs and all the bugs are. You know, they, they need the heat, but basically that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Drew.